day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Go ahead, 28. Okay, 28. And he was angry. It would not go in. Would not. Heart. He would not go in. He and would so not. The father noticed, you know, no different than he noticed his son fall. Yes. He noticed his older son a fall. Therefore, he came out, out and entreated him. Yeah, he said, what's up? Look, it's the same thing. Yeah. He said, what's up, bro? What's up? The younger son, the older son. <laughs> so that, it, maybe that's what God using us today to talk about. Is that, guys, what's wrong? Yeah. Don't, don't, don't be so angry with your, your brother. Go ahead. I think God did that the for you. The older son answered and said to his father, No, these many years do I serve you. Mm. You transgress I at any time by command. Mm. Yet thou never gavest me a key, a cat, that I might make merry with my friends. So 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 he's angry because what so this is he's telling you why he's angry now, right? Yeah. 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 He, he so in other words, I've been I've been I've been a uh, uh didn't put in that one, what is that? What is that? No, no, we didn't put it in there, but the bottom line is, you said at the beginning of the story, just in case those people came in late, Brother Hazza said in the verse two, wasn't it, of that, that this parable, where the guy said, I divided, he divided everything in half. He divided between the two. He did. So in other words, homeboy had his stuff. Other yeah, boy took his he stuff. Had, he could have had more. Yeah. Obviously, they, they, they might not going to give all that he has. Come on now. I'm going to say, yeah, keep me up my eyes. <laughs> but but, uh, he, he had access to, to his, his, his portion. Yes, he did. Plus the father. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so, but that's the whole point of saying is that some people sit there and don't recognize what you have. Which goes right back to you need to renew your mind yes. by understanding who you are yes. in Christ Jesus and the blessings that have been given you through the redemptive work of Christ on the cross. Because <laughs> if you don't know what you have, yes, sir. you cannot access it. You can't access it. Because there, 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 there's some things that I'm, I'm still learning. Mm. Uh, I'm still learning that I'm in the same state that Christ was in when he had access to all that the Father had and he did great work. Mm. And I'm still getting it. And maybe that's the part of the renewing the mind you're talking about, right? Yeah. And, and, and maybe even not only renewing the mind of ourselves, but renewing the mind of others that have accepted Christ is what did you what did you receive coming into the kingdom? And one of the words I wanted to give you when you was talking was renewing your mind of what you are. You said what you are and what you have. <laughs> and, and look, let's put a flip flop on that too. I like Fred Price to say this. Let's also renew your mind so that you don't focus on what you were. Yeah. It's not about what you were. Yeah. It's about who you are. Who you are. You were something else. Yeah. But you are something now. Yeah. A new creation. Yeah. Yeah. So he didn't know. <laughs> and that's the point we're going to bring out to other people. You don't, first of all, you're mad because you were working all day, just like those guys with the pins for a day. And you're upset because somebody came in at the last minute and got something, regardless. You need to get over that. And then you gotta recognize what you have. 
Because that's where he's hanging, right? So, so in other words, son, he, look, you almost could have said, son, you you know, like give a guy a, a, a brand new car, your son. The, the, the one you got now and say, this is your car. Mm -hmm. Now, you do need to get your driver's license. <laughs> and when you get your driver's license, this is your car. And, and, and the kid could actually grow to a point of forgetting that that is their car. And and say, how come I can't, you know, like your, your, old, your older son, older son come by and takes the car and drive it. And he said, I, see, you just give him, you let him just go drive the car and do what he want with it. And you have to remind him, son, that is your car. Did you, you didn't, didn't remember I told you this is your car? Yeah, but you, you let him drive it. Well, hey, look, if you got a problem with that, why don't you go get it? Because that's your car. I gave it to you. But you weren't using it. You didn't get your license like I told you. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. But I think a lot of cases, Christians don't understand what they have in Christ. So, he, and he say, this guy right here, tell me, I obey all the commandments and all that other stuff. So what, what number 30 say? This is that as soon as this that son will come. Hmm. Just any senator come in, right? Just come on in and come as you are, right? As soon as he come in, huh? Because the thy, thy living with heart. I mean, he's sin. He is sin. He's sin, brother. That's how thou has killed for him the fatty cat. Ooh, you know, I think about that kind of matter of Jesus, God the Father, sending his son. Yeah. Wow. I just thought that came out of well, you can even admit, you know, you have all those who were before Christ. Yeah. That went on to yeah. Abraham's brother. You know? And then here we are coming in <laughs> under yeah. this decision of grace. Yes, sir. How are they feeling, man? They got all this authority and power in them where, where it was external for us. Yeah. That's you it. Know? Yeah. That's a reality, too. Yeah. So so they might even have issues. Oh, and you gave these, these dogs, these heathens? Yeah, they said that. They, they do have issues with us. Yeah. They do. They don't want to accept you as. That was the reason, that, I think that was the reason they didn't like Paul, was Paul started talking about the Gentiles. Yeah. Now, they, they, matter of fact, if you remember the Acts, just from this case, people know, remember they had a council meeting? Yeah, and the Paul, had to, yeah. Paul had to put him in check. Yeah. He said, we could, you, you couldn't even do it. Yeah. And, and you're trying to tell me to tell them? <laughs> that they're not accepted unless they do what we used to do. No, excuse yeah. me. What we were told to do, but didn't do. See, brother? That's what the legalism does with people. Yeah. That's what people do. They get angry. Every law only points out your shortcut. Mm. That's all it does. Every law. E e even with the laws that, that were written by God, they were to show us where we fall short and to bring about more sin which requires more laws <laughs> man you talking you look look it might be back to the woman caught in act of adultery again too she they wanted to stone her because she broke a commandment yeah. and christ said you know what he said. Bottom line is, any one of you yahoos out here who have not sinned, cast the first stone. And, and they all got convicted. So even when this young man sitting there talking about he is, and, and look, look, neither transgress I, this verse 29, just keep you may know I'm coming from. Is that a true statement, what he said right there? Neither, no. Huh? no, no, it's not. It's not a true statement, but in his mind, it's a true statement. 
And in the mind of so many people coming to Christ, they think that they they don't sin no more. They don't make mistakes no more. They don't have short problems anymore. See, matter of fact, the fact that he was having this conversation with his father mm. was a transgression. Yes. This very conversation <laughs> that he did not join in with his father's wishes. Mm. Yeah. Was a it was a sin against his father. It was yeah. not a part of his commandment. Eat and be merry and let's enjoy mm -hmm. our son who was lost and was dead and now is alive and found. That's what and that's the key he's trying to say is, son, I'm not I I'm not here to endorse his behavior. I'm going to re rejoice in, in his decision mm -hmm. to come back into the kingdom. That's what he's trying to tell us to get to, brother. And I'm saying is, so as you equip the saint to do the work in the ministry, let them understand these type of parables. And because they're going to tell you why they don't come back to church no more. Yeah. yeah, same thing. They think they did good. But as soon as your son was come, which has devoured thy living with harlots, it has killed him the fattest cow. Go ahead, 531. What you got? And he said unto him, Son, mm. thou art ever with me. Come on, bro. All that I have. Come on, bro. Come on. It was meet that we should make merry. That's the point I'm saying. For this thy brother was dead. Yes, sir. And he was <laughs> lost and his son. He, he said, I tell every one of us, every last one of us, Lord and Savior, who does it apply to? Yes, sir. And, and the thing about it, what I catch is that you see the other one keeps poking on what the issue was, right? He He's not forgiving the boy for what he did, you know? And, and that goes back to the story you and I was talking about earlier. You, I was like, where did he find out about the boy living with Hollis? That means he must have knew. You mean that that information was some kind of? You see, what I'm saying is that's specific. He given specific reasons why he's upset. Yeah, but see, I, I'm I'm real. I'm, I'm focusing on this. He was was lost and is now found. Mm -hmm. If you're lost, come on. Go where you are. Do you know your way? Mm. You, you, okay, what, what's the point of that one though? When you say, you know, if you're lost, you don't know your way. Is, you're, is lost. That, huh? you're, you're lost. You know, a lost child. Okay. A child can't find his way back to his parents if he don't know. If he doesn't understand how, how to, to return, that's being lost. That's for, that, that, that's for us to be fathers ministering the gospel to other people is to show the way, right? Because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth yeah. and the light. So, you know, the fact that, you know, he's not, he knows that he was lost. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that he was gone. He was dead. That yes. was when, he was separated. Separated. Yeah. So he separated himself. Yes. We were separated. Yes. Adam and Eve. So we were separated. Yes. So we were dead. And now we're alive again. Christ connected us again. Yes. And we were alive. <laughs> Because we had no clue of our state. And now yeah. we're, we're found in righteousness. We're found, you know, uh, uh, Come on. Made, we're found whole. Yes. We're, 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 we're found engrafted into yes. this body. Yes. We're, Giving 
uh, 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 receiving the blessings of God. We're, we're, we're found in His Word. We're, we're, Come on. We're just found. Come on, brother. We're found. Yes. We because we had no clue. Yes. We, we were we were lost because we had no relationship. And the light came. Yes. That's the point. And, 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 and so for the Jewish people to be upset with us, or anybody who's in the body of Christ, they got to understand that God's world has blinded us, right? When you were, when you was in the world, you were blinded. Mm -hmm. You was lost. The devil blinded you from the truth. And therefore, you are lost. But the, the point we want to make sure for the body of Christ is that when somebody has found the path, which is Christ, not to be like this prodigal, not like the older son, because he he he's focused on what the boy did. You see what I'm saying there? One was focused on he was lost. Yes, he was lost, but now he's found. The other one is saying is no, I'm pointing back to what it, you see, do you see that pattern? I'm saying this is what people do. They they want to point back to what you did. Opposed to what he did for you. They could both be labeled part of it. Yeah. Come on, brother. Because though the oldest son was with his father, he was still lost. He was still lost. He was blinded. Because of this situation with his younger brother, he is now found. He mm -hmm. found himself in a knowledge that all that his father has, he always had. Always had. Yes. Yes. So you could you could be in the body and not know who and what you are. Hey, look, and you can be in the body and still a slave. Until the father explains to you <laughs> through revelation your Come position on. in him, you won't know. You'll be no different than the oldest son who stayed there. Exactly. You can be in the church <laughs> and, and, and lost. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>